Tensions are escalating in Northern Ireland up to a point where authorities are now saying that an attack is highly likely over the Easter weekend as Joe Biden plans to visit Belfast. Okay, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about what's going on in Belfast uh, over the last few days. Uh, the tensions continue to uh, escalate, uh, obviously, on the mainstream media on a regular basis uh, throughout the year. We don't really hear much about what uh, happens in uh, Northern Ireland. Uh, that's a whole different problem. Uh, but even now, things are so bad that uh, not only uh, Sky News and others are finally reporting uh, but roughly what's going on in Belfast. We actually had the authorities, the police and uh, the security have been coming out to say that, well, an attack is actually highly likely. And we're going to talk about Joe Biden's visit as well. Let's go to the, the police. We're now dealing with a, a severe terrorist threat, which means an attack is highly likely right across Northern Ireland. I think the thing to stress uh, for members and beyond today is that the main focus of these attacks continues to be police officers, both on and off duty, as you say, and their families. It will also include prison officers and military personnel. And the style of attack that we're dealing with and trying to frustrate is gun attack and bomb attacks on these people by a small number of determined dissident terrorists. What this means is that working with our security partners, there's an assessment about an increase in their intent and capability to cause serious harm to us in the next six months. But this is absolutely chaotic because um, sometimes, well, most of the time, people across our kingdom are kind of complacent because of the political establishment and the mainstream media because we don't really hear much about the everyday uh, clashes and tensions in Northern Ireland. Um, there have been a, a lot of theories about it. There some people have said from the Westminster bubble, they told me, well, it's because if we cover and report every single thing that happens, then it kind of creates an image, uh, paint an image that uh, the whole of the country, the whole of the kingdom is basically not stable and it's not good for the economic stability. I'm like, oh, oh, sure, I get your argument, but at the same time, things are not stable. In Northern Ireland and people are suffering and people can't have stability and so because of that you're not even covering anything so you wonder why people are getting frustrated in Northern Ireland even when it came to Brexit uh, when was the first time that you remember they talked about Northern Ireland as an issue during the Brexit campaign for example none of that happened until Theresa May uh, pulled the trigger in 2017 uh, when she was negotiating the deal, Brexit deal. Then we had some people saying, oh yeah, we forgot about Northern Ireland. Let's come up with a deal. Let's talk about a Northern Ireland protocol or backstop or whatever we had, the checkers agreement. It, it we always basically, as a family of the kingdom, when it comes to political establishment and the media, they've always ignored Northern Ireland. And it's absolutely disgusting. But now, Joe Biden. Now, Biden is taking advantage of the political situation um, when it comes to the, the clash between the UK and the European Union. So, once again, any time that uh, the Democrats, especially people like Biden, get into trouble and they visit Europe, they all become Irish. They all become so loyal to the Republic of Ireland. And he wears his green tie and he says, oh, I love the Irish. Basically, this is another um, symbol of uh, his opposition uh, to the Brit Brexit Britain, basically, because he's going to the Republic of Ireland and he's going to go to Belfast and he's going to say things again. As we know, he's said it before. He's going to take the EU side and also any anywhere he goes, he basically carries crime with him and attacks. So it's not really stable. I think it's probably best for everybody if he cancels his visit because it's not going to do anything productive, even if he remembers where he is. He might go to Belfast and say, oh, it's great to be in the European Union. <laughs> Actually, he might not be completely wrong there, considering Northern Ireland is part of the European Union when it comes to the single market and customs union. Anyway, we'll keep you guys posted on this, uh, as well as other issues. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.